Being an expectant mama is a super fun and a super overwhelming time, especially if it's your first baby. There are so many big decisions you have to make, one of those being your birth plan and where you're gonna have your baby. My husband and I chose the road less traveled and we decided to have our baby at home and do a home birth. So I wanted to share our experience and also give some helpful tips to help you decide if a home birth is right for you. Hi, my name is Eden Scritchfield. I make videos on faith, family, and fitness. And so if those things interest you, I am so glad you're here. Welcome to my page, let's dive in. The first thing to ask is, do I have pre-existing conditions or current health conditions that would make a home birth impossible or at the very least, very difficult? Though I believe that many mamas can give birth at home, there are some people who do have some health issues and health concerns that might not pan out perfectly for a home birth. If you have a family history or you yourself have diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure, anything like that running in your family, that's definitely something to consider and talk to your doctor about before diving headfirst into doing home birth. I also would suggest getting a second opinion. The great thing is that you can interview a ton of different midwives before you um, seal the deal with one, and so you can see how they would go about dealing with the certain medical issues that you might have so that you would have full peace going into working with that midwife or that doula to know that you would be taken care of really well. There are some contradicting opinions in the medical field for home birth, and so definitely do your research and get all of the information that you can from different midwives to make that decision for yourself if it's something that you should consider. Number two is assess your current pain tolerance. This is kind of an obvious one, but I did not really do that before I decided to do a home birth. I was a little naive to my pain tolerance, although I did have a lot of unexpected back labor, so it was still pretty painful. But if pain doesn't bother you, which is kind of one of the main concerns about having birth, especially an unmedicated birth, then maybe home birth is something that you can really consider if you feel like you have a very high pain tolerance because obviously you won't be medicated. Number three is assess your current strength level. So I'm a personal trainer, so I decided to work out all the way through 40 weeks pregnant and my son was born just before 41 weeks. So I really fought hard throughout my pregnancy to keep as much strength and as much muscle, lean muscle mass as I could to make labor as easy as possible and to be as strong as possible through labor. I I actually pushed too hard when the pushing stage came and I like ejected him out, which ended up not being great for us, but I was really strong during labor and I was able to move and maneuver with my body and move with baby as he was moving down. And I just felt really, really strong throughout the whole thing. So if home birth is something you're really considering, I would personally consider hiring a coach or a personal trainer who is certified in coaching pregnant women because it can be very, very, very helpful to make sure that you are the strongest mama you can be for an unmedicated labor. Number four, decide how hard you want to work. There are some women who who early in their pregnancy get that c-section scheduled and honestly more power to them some women just don't want to worry about having to go through labor and they just want to get the baby out but if you feel you have the stamina and the endurance to face however long you'll be in labor for then that's something you have to think about for yourself you definitely have to know your limits with this and i know this can be difficult because if it's your first baby it's really really hard to know but if you're overall a fairly healthy person and you tend to have this get stuff done do hard things Things, check the list off, raw kind of personality overall in life, then you'll probably have enough of that power <laughs> and stamina inside of you to labor unmedicated. Number five, decide what's most important to you. Do you care to say that you had a home birth or that you had an unmedicated labor? Is it worth it for you to not have to leave your house and not deal with doctors in your face? Would you be okay if something went wrong during or after labor and you had to end up in the hospital anyways and have a home birth bill and a hospital bill? These are all things to consider if you are thinking about doing a home birth. I had a challenging yet an amazing 14 hour labor on Easter Sunday of 2022 and it ended with delivering a beautiful and healthy baby boy. I can say for myself that a home birth was definitely the right option for us, though it was a little shocking and a lot more painful than I thought. I'm really glad that I pushed myself to do it, but that's just my personality. I tend to like to do the more difficult thing and just kind of experience something like that, but if that's not something that you wanna do, then don't think about it. <laughs> you don't have to do it. However you deliver your baby is perfect for you and perfect for your family. As long as you and baby are healthy at the end and your baby is delivered healthily, 
that's what matters. I hope this video gave you some more clarity and gave you some better direction as to how you're going to go about your birth plan and how you want to labor. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future videos. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Bye.